All right, guys, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. This video is going to show you how you can easily make money. Yes, very easily. How you can make two times the return on the movement of Tesla, two times the return on the movement of PayPal, or the opposite, how we can make two times the return positive when Tesla goes down or PayPal or many other stocks, right? We're not talking about an exchange traded fund. No, we're not looking at that. We're not going to look at a UVXY, which is the inverse of the S&P 500. No, we are going to go bull or bear on a specific stock, just on a single equity, on a single stock. This has never happened before. This is brand new. It's out already. And I'll show you the results towards the end of the video. Yeah, it's and, and I'll show you one thing that I'm going to do to make money, right? So at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you step by step what I'm going to do to make money in the short term in what I feel will be an easy way to make money, right? Uh, with that being said, though, obviously never copy me. What you see in this video, you should just take it as obviously not financial advice. Then do your own homework and decide for yourselves, right? Now, this is, like I said, it's going to be a really cool video. I mean, you there there has never been um, a way to just say, okay, let me add if... If PayPal is moving up, I'll make two times the return, right? All right, so yeah, so 2x and all that. Now, before I begin, Mumu is the proud sponsor of this video. Mumu is a great trading app. I would not recommend Mumu if it sucked. Trust me, I would not because that would make me look horrible. I don't care. But when you have Mumu, which is a trading app that offers you everything the United States has to offer, all the stocks, all the exchange traded funds. If you want access to the entire Hong Kong Stock Exchange, you can. It, it offers you um, groups. You can. It has hundreds of embedded groups within the app that you can join. Each group is, you know, there might be a group for options. There might be a group that's geared for Tesla. You can trade with. Uh, you can uh, chat with other traders, follow other traders. Uh, instant deposits, great rewards all the time. They always have these great rewards for their traders. They have live seminars for their Mumu traders. I don't know. I think it's an awesome. And if you use my link in the comment section below, you get 10 free stocks signing up with my link, starting to trade on Mumu. 10 free stocks is awesome. Each one worth up to 3,500 bucks, right? Depends what they're going to give you, but they're going to be good 10 free stocks. Now, with that being said, let's go to what I want to focus on. This is a video made in the past. Right. This was a video made on July 14, 2022. So on July 14, 2022, which was the day that these specific things I'm going to talk to you uh, went out. But on July 14, I talked about them. I made one mistake though on that video. I incorporated that information with the information about the God Bless America ETF, which I should not have done that. And I made another editing mistake. And you're looking at it right now. So we're, we're already at 6 minutes and 42 seconds into the video. And you see me, full screen. Uh, on In that video, at 6.42 is when I start talking about what I'm going to talk about in, uh, in a little bit. And I had forgotten to minimize myself and be able to show you graphics and all that about what it is. And so it was just a big editing mistake. So we'll talk about it now. So I did talk about them then. So it was this one, God Bless America, where uh, I talked about the AXS Investments new uh, products. Their new products are two times Tesla, bear ETF. It's called ETF, but it's focused on just Tesla. There's no other holdings. Basically, by investing in this, you uh, gain. It's a two times. You are, so you gain when um, um, uh, Tesla goes down. And that's it. There's, it's, it. I know they're called. You think ETF must be, you know, they have various holdings, but they don't. They're just geared on, like this one for NVIDIA is just for NVIDIA. So if NVIDIA is doing bad, you have a two times exposure to NVIDIA do, uh uh, when it goes down, but you're gaining, you're gaining, you're not losing. All right, so you have the inverse, two times the inverse of Nvidia Bear ETF. Um, then you have for ConocoPhillips, you have for PayPal, Wells Fargo, um, CRM, uh, CRM Salesforce, if I remember right, uh, Nike. Um, so and and for all these, you have Bull and Bear, right? Here's more. Uh, so you have the uh, two times Tesla Bear, two times Tesla Bull. Two times NVIDIA bear, two times... I'll show you in a little bit chart with results. You'll be shocked. And the play I'm going to make out of all these, I picked out my play. Uh, this possible place. We'll get back to some good place I'm going to tell you that I think uh, will make us money in the very, very short period of time very soon. All right. Now, if we go to the... Uh, this is the SEC filing. I'm just going to... I just picked... Uh, out of all of these, I just picked the first one just to... Um, get an idea of how these things work. So you have the AXS two times Tesla bear ETF, for example. I just, I mean, I could have picked bull Tesla, uh, but 
uh, just, just to get an idea. So the AXS two times bear ETF seeks daily inverse, right? So if we were to invest in the 2X Tesla bear ETF, we are seeking daily inverse leverage investment results and is very different from most other exchange traded funds because here we're just focused on Tesla and nothing else. Basically, the fund's objective is to magnify the inverse, thus negative 200% daily performance of the common shares of Tesla Corporation. Or if it was the opposite, positive 200%, right? Now, um, let me skip over to here. Principal investment strategies. The fund is an actively uh, managed exchange traded fund that seeks to achieve on a daily basis before fees and expenses, negative 200% perform performance on the Tesla because we chose the Tesla bear to look at right now. Additionally, the fund may, be, uh, may invest between 40 to 80% of the fund's portfolio depending on the amount of collateral required to the fund's uh, counterparties in U.S. government securities such as bills, nodes, bonds. Okay, so they do also do that, not just Tesla. Uh, so they, they may put 40 to 80% of that in this sort of things, money market funds, short-term bond ETFs, corporate debt securities. Yes, so exciting. All right, now let's skip that and let's look at this. So it was on July 14th, like I said, that all of these things launched, right? So on July 14th, the AXS 1.5 times. So the PayPal, uh, instead of 2X, they actually, the official, what they did was 1.5. So the AXS 1.5 PayPal bull daily tier. So on July 14th, if I had said, yeah, I want to be bullish on PayPal, and I got into this one, so it's 1.5 times bull PayPal, right? Uh, and it started, it actually opened to be traded on the stock market at 29.34. But because PayPal has been going up since July 14th, right? The past six, seven days, PayPal is going up. If I got in at 29, well, now it's at 36.54. So 24.5% increase, which is massive. For that short period of time so we went from 25 29 bucks to 36 nearly 37 bucks right from 29 to 36 dollars and 54 cents in that short within a week because we are 1.5 times paypal bull now with that being said and, and and i think that you can if i think you get the point of how these things work it's the new products by access and i think that these are new tools for us right we have new tools to use in our arsenal let's say don't, I'm not saying that you should be actively fully uh, trading these things because they're very dangerous. Anything that's leveraged inverse and all that stuff is dangerous and you have to know what you're doing, right? Uh, for example, we can't predict the markets, right? And you should not try to predict the markets. That's wrong. But we do know, and that's a 100% fact, even Warren Buffett said it, we know that when the Federal Reserve raises the interest rates, uh, and hikes the rates, right? Um, that acts as gravity for the stock market. Every time the Federal Reserve raises the rates, it's gravity for the stock market and it, and it brings the stock market further down. This has been proven. You look at the past Federal Reserve uh, interest rate hikes and see the results after. The market in general has been pulled down. Very few things uh, escape. Some things that do fall victim to higher interest rates from the Fed are banks, financial service sector stocks, tech stocks, right? So I'm thinking to myself, well, I cannot predict where the market will go, but I do know that when the Fed raises the rates again, and they have announced that they will raise the rates again, and it will be anywhere from 0.75 to maybe one basis point, Right. So because they will raise the rates again, I would like to situate myself in one of AXS products that is bearish on something that has to do with banks, financials, tech. What fits that? Well, let's look. PayPal. But this is the bull. So PayPal bull, because lately we have a nice little the past, you know, this five days now we have a nice bull run. And so it went from 29 to 36. But if I get into this, I'm thinking, if I get into this, let's say a day before the Fed announces the interest rate hike, and we, we know what that date is, we, that's pre-announced from before. And if I get into that, and then the Fed announces what the interest rate hike is, I'm thinking that for the next two, for the next week, let's say, I think, in my opinion, that PayPal will go 
downwards. So if I get in before the Fed announces the, uh, uh, the rate hike and I'm in, then the Fed announces the rate hike, hopefully it's like one, something higher than what people expect, then it'll be like more of a surprise and you know shock. Um, then PayPal goes downwards and I get an exposure of 1.5 PayPal bear. And that should be as basically rewarding as it has been right now for the bull. So I, I may even gain within a week after the Fed rate hikes about 24.5% increase positive, right? So that's the way I see it. And that's how I think I will play. And some of these are already out trading already since July 14. That is the two times uh, PFE bear daily, two times PFE bull daily, 1.5 and 1.5 bear bull for PayPal, Tesla bear daily, daily that's already out tslq is the ticket symbol so you see the ticket symbols here for the uh, paypal bull is pypt paypal bear is pyps the nike two times uh, bear bull nkeq for the bear nkel for the bull and the 1.25 in beer and nvidia bear daily nvds right so these are out already the rest will come out in a little bit also but these are already out trading and so i'll focus on the paypal forget wells fargo is not out so I'll focus on the PayPal bear, which means PYPS ticker symbol. And I'll have to, um, um, I think I'm gonna get on that before the Fed rate hikes. And maybe uh, if PayPal starts dropping, which I'll look into the previous Fed rate hikes, what it did after those Fed rate hikes. And um, if it looks, you know, if I see that it did drop, then okay, I'm getting in on, on the next Fed rate hike for pay, PYPS, probably make a 20% gain on it, perfect. All right, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you all the best. Take care.